so we've got a problem with our Discovery 4. We've got this error message coming up, restricted performance. Now this started happening the other day and it seemed to first happen on cold mornings. And it would come in and I'd, I'd drive it a bit, stop the car, restart and it would clear. Um, but now it's got every time. Um, and I can still drive the car okay, but it's just got this restricted performance and it does seem to be holding back a little bit. So we need to analyze what it is. Um, and so we've got our new IDT tool. Um, we're gonna plug this in and see if that works. So I'll just pass that to you in. So with the IDT tool, it's an ODB analyzer. It plugs in the ODB2 port here. You see the green lights going on. Right. And we've got another video where we install and set this up. We've got it on the phone here. And it's available devices. I haven't used it for a while. Connect to last tool. Let's have a look. Tool found. It's gathering the info. Okay, it's loading. Okay. So let's go to faults. Again, I haven't used this for a while. Right. Faults will be read. Continue. But scanning the modules. Right, so we've got some audio amplifier, brake module, AGM, body control, driver module, instrument pack. Um, right, is that all of them? That's uh, all your... Uh, here we go, there's some more, we've got to scroll down. It's going to be the engine, right? So this is the engine, it's got two faults, okay? So, right, we've got mass or volume airflow B circuit is, is not having it and the mass airflow B. So they're both related to airflow B. Now, okay, so this is the airflow meter. Now I've actually worked out what this was the other day. So let's jump and have a look at the airflow meters and look at the airflow meters on a Discovery 4 and, and what this means. So this is the Discovery 4 fitted with the, let me get this right, the three litre TDV6 engine. Okay, now, first thing when you look at it, this is the air filter box, most of you will know even I know that and I was thinking well the the mass airflow meter is going to be just after the air filter box but you see you've got two 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 airflow meters um, these are both the same part number and if you look on the part system they are actually two identical things there's another little intriguing thing is that you'll notice we've got four wires coming out of this one and we only got three and there's a stumpy one and it's not been cut it's actually a blank um, what it is, is these airflow meters have got the mass airflow and they've also got the air temperature sensor built in. So you've got two temperature, you've got two circuits in here, hence the four wires. This one, the actual module itself, because it's the same as this one, has got the temperature sensor in. But the ECU's not bothered about this second one because it's getting all its data from this one. So one interesting thing, I'm digressing a little, is if you get the one of these failing and the temperature sensor failing, you can actually swap these two over because this one might work um, and it's not being used and this one might be faulty and giving you a problem. Right, you'll also notice your, your car certainly won't have an X and an A and a B. So this real one, why have we got two pipes going off? Um, and I thought maybe one fed um, the turbo on one bank because it's a V engine and one on the other, but no, it's wrong. Looking on the internet, it's a twin stage turbo. So the turbo, it's got a turbo at low revs and then when you get to higher revs, the second turbo comes in. So one is feeding the primary and one is feeding the secondary turbo. Now, we pretty much believe this one's faulty because this is a B. Um, what I am going to do now is I'm going to swap these two over um, and see what error code it comes up with on the tool so that just to confirm whether it comes up with A or I have a feeling it comes up with nothing. But let's have a look. So let's just take that one off. So this is how you change the airflow meter. It's relatively straightforward. It's quite a common fault, these airflow meters. Our local Land Rover dealer had one of these in stock on the shelf and they don't carry much stock. So if you haven't got a diagnostics tool and you're getting that restricted performance error, it's almost worth a gamble buying one. They're, they're available on eBay. Right, so we're just trying to compress this. Right, so I'll hold that out of the way for you in. Right, we've got two screws on here. Um, right, let me point, one's at the top and one's at the bottom. You'll see it when Ian's doing it better. 
get that out of the way first. What well, we've got to do that just pushes back, doesn't it? Lift, push lift. that little bit there, yeah. Tab. So Sorry, I'm not pointing the camera. You're going to sack me from the camera up again. Yeah. What size is it? M seven millimeter? Eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Right, yeah, check on top of the air filter box. Yeah, have a look at that. Okay, so they're like a super cool self tapper where they're going into that plastic body there. Right, so we'll just show you how to change it. Alright, the same again, same length. Alright, so then you've got to give it a bit of a tug. It was. We've had these out already, but there's an O-ring inside we'll show you. So there's an O-ring there. Now when you put it back in, it. don't put the O-ring there. All right, let me come around this side. If you hold that tube out the way so we can have a look in. There's some little locators in. The O-ring goes, it sits in there. And I think it's easier to put the, the O-ring in here and then refit it on. But make sure you don't sort of push the O-ring into the, the filter. Um, so that's that. Um, so what we're going to do now is we've got a new one. Where's the new one? So this, Carter, we'll swap them. But that's the part number there. That is what is fitted. Um, but yeah, let's swap them over. So Ian will swap these over. This second one's exactly the same. It's held in with the same. So you don't want to watch me do that. So we'll swap them over and we'll join you back in the car again. Uh, and we'll see what diagnostics error it throws up this time. So if we swap them over. You need to clear your faults, okay? Because otherwise it'll just show you the stored fault. So let's clear that fault, which was for the airflow circuit B, and let's see what error it reads up now. We need ignition on. Oh, yeah, hold on, update failed. Put ignition, I'm not gonna start the car, we just got the... Uh, Do we need to try starting the car? So no, I think it did it, it, did it just now. 13 ECU is done. Oh, there we go, it's going, it's going. All right, reading faults. Okay, so now it's rereading. So let's have a look what the fault is this time. So, okay, so notice now, it's the same fault code, but instead of saying airflow B, it now just says airflow. So for airflow A, it doesn't say A, it just says airflow. So if you see that one, airflow, you know it's the one in the video that we've done. If you get that fault, it's most likely your back one nearest, uh, nearest yeah. the bulb. Yeah, so this one, yeah, this one is A. Let's just go and check where that is. But it would depend, so, yeah. it may so depend if you, on So if you get B, it's this one. If you don't get an A or a B, it's most likely it's this back one here. Now, one thing we are going to quickly try and do, we know now this one's faulty. Um, you do get airflow cleaner. Uh, we're going to do a little test to see if we can fix. Oh, we're going to try all three of these, or what? We can only can try. Well, we'll see if we can get any of these to fix it. Um, obviously, if one fixes it, it's not a very good test. But we'll just. Um, why don't we blast? Now let's blast it. You reckon brake cleaner is the best? Try see if we can fix it with the. I've brake. used brake cleaners in the past, but mainly just because that's what I had. <laughs> All right, so we'll whip that off now, and we'll, we'll have a go at cleaning it and see see if that fixes anything. Okay, right, we've got this Halfords brake cleaner. We're going to give it a blast every which way in here. Now, we we don't have to refit this. We just have to plug it back in and see if it'll... Give it a proper good blast. You happy with that, Ian? It's going to do about as much as it's going to do, I do. think. Yeah. Right, we'll, we'll just let that air off a bit, let it evaporate, and um, and then we'll just plug it back in and we'll go and okay, test it again. Okay, so we've, we've, we've sprayed air, uh, the brake cleaner at it, uh, we've cleared the fault, we've read the fault, I can try and clear it again, clearing the fault, scanning it, still got a fault. Yeah, so it's still showing the same fault. So the brake cleaner didn't clear it. We'll go and try the others, see if we'll try and spray everything at it, see if it's fixable at all. Um, if not, it's a new one. Contact cleaner now. We're gonna give this bad boy a bit of it. I'm gonna squirt it in everywhere. There we go, well, that's as much as that. Right, we'll let that air off and and we'll refill. All, all we're doing is we're just leaving it here and then we're literally just 
plugging it back in there and then we just it can just rest there because the faults are coming up without even the engine running so okay so let's clear that fault so it clears it and it also re this tool rescans as on clearing um so no that one's failed as well so last test is the is the egr valve cleaner we'll go and spray some of that and see if that so, does yeah, it we've tried this egr cleaner and it's got a real sort of what's the word thrust to the propellant in there um so let's see if this one's done it clear yeah so i think our somewhat random test concluded that in our case it wasn't possible to fix the egr valve now if you actually look at the fault here one that the eagle eyed amongst you was spotted we've got 318,000 kilometers on this discovery for so i'm not sure if that's its first one but i'm going to treat this this car to a brand new genuine airflow sensor um so we'll fit that and and i'm sure it'll clear all the faults we'll, we'll okay have a look. so here we go so we fitted a new sensor and we put it on the let me get this right this is the b one we put it where it uses the temperature and because we thought we'll have the new one where it's using both the mass air, excuse me the mass airflow and the temperature it's also what we believe to be the one that's the primary one the, yeah so it's used, and it's the one that we thought had the fault originally originally yeah so it probably fails more so um right let's clear that so when we clear it it also does this reread on this tool so it scans it again and no faults so there we go and we got the engine running so we're all fault free we have not got restricted performance so hopefully that'll help you that's air mass flow volume fixing on a discovery 4.